Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Samantha with Jolie Flips Vintage. I am taking you to Miami today. We're gonna hit up red, white, and blue. And if there's time, we'll hit up another or maybe a couple more. It is my dad's birthday and we are uh, celebrating later on today. So I have to make sure that I get home on time. I've got one mission and one mission only. Find the old treasures and get them to new vintage lovers' homes. We here at Jolie Flips Vintage pick through every location we visit with a fine tooth comb. Be it thrift shops, garage or estate sales, vintage markets, or antique malls, if there are secondhand luxury pieces lurking around, we will surely find them. So pull up a seat, get cozy, and Jolie flip with us. I'm really bummed because I edited the Renegers Mount Dora video that I promised you guys I would put out for five days, like five sleepless nights editing this thing. And I had some kind of corrupted video and I could not identify which corrupted video or corrupted file was in the um, in the process. I just kept getting the error that there was a corrupted video and it just didn't identify which video. So I have to redo the whole thing. So that is a work in process, but I will have that out for you guys. But for right now, here's a thrift video. And here we are, my sweet friends. Wow, parking was actually really easy today. Let's grab one of these carts here. I don't think anyone's using them. I'll take this one. So buying wreaths at um, thrift stores are always a good idea because they're so expensive in the store. I'm not seeing any here that I like today. I did sell my brass wreath to my friend. She really liked it. So this looks like someone actually painted on the hearts on the cobalt blue glass. $1.99. I think actually they did a really good job and I like that. So I'm going to grab that. I don't think that I actually saw what the colors were when I walked in. I was just kind of trying to just get in here. Let's see what we can find here. So far, nothing like crazy awesome. <laughs> kind of like the swirly effect on these. These are cool. They're votive candle holders. Let's just admire them for a second. I don't think I'm going to actually pick them up. We're gonna be a little, uh, <laughs> wait, I always say this. We're gonna be a little picky, <laughs> but I really will try to be. So far, nothing that I see here that I'm digging in torso. What's in torso? I don't know that one. All right, uh, I didn't look through the plates. Looking down here for some old candle holders. Is this Viking glass that makes this? I don't think so. They make a similar one, but this is Ross and it's flash colored. This is a cool lampshade. Is it by Formalities? No. Lisa White Vineyard Blessings? Hmm. I don't know. Kind of is giving me Florentine tray vibes, but it's not. Um, it's uh, Marshall's and it's kind of chippy chipped. It's kind of boring. Also, I always say maybe the resellers came through already. <laughs> oh, here are these little eggs. I have enough of them, but someone should pick these up. Someone should grab those. Oh, this is probably Jim Shore with some eggs in it. $14.99. Let's look up how much that's actually worth. Is there any breakage? No, let's look online. Okay, here's what I found. There's a listing and there's one that sold for about $70. I actually do think that's worth a $14 pickup. Um, as long as there's no damage on it, all the eggs are in the basket. This looks like a pretty uh, rare piece. I don't think that it's, there's many of them. So, I mean, I pay, pay $15 for it, but I can make 70 um, or similar amount. That's okay. This is a really nice box. I wonder, made in Hungary. Look at this. It's very different. It's $5.99 and there's no damage to it. I'm hearing something in it. Oh, I like that. $5.99 is steep, but it's a really unique box. Put that on my Etsy shop. I am, uh, trying to give my website a chance this year. This is my second year trying it. I make more profit on other platforms. 
uh, but I think that I'm going to be, if it doesn't pick up, I'm going to strictly have just a website by next year and then just kind of put the listings on other platforms and redirect through my website. You know what I mean? Like to a platform where you could purchase it, the items to a platform where you could purchase them instead of my uh, website. Just because I'm making more of a profit on on platforms. I tried to stay away from their fees and figured I would just have my own website, but it's, it's really hard to drive traffic through there because you have to promote a lot and it's a lot of money into it. I put a lot of money into my website. This one has a little chippy chip, but this is really cool. It's a 99 cents. It's a cross, a pottery cross. It's really not bad if you just use like a nail file sand it down that's totally fine it's a really cool pickup i don't understand these they're like kind of like acrylic jars they're all really nice i think they're resin jars these are cool as long as there's nothing in them i really like them they close really nice too a whole bunch of them I'll take them 199 $2.99. Here's some more. Oh, look at that. Batman. DC Comics. Uh, bookends. They're kind of cool. I might get those. I don't know. Look at these. They're all so cool. What about this one? Oh, man. Who made these? <laughs> okay, we're gonna grab these. Love it. $2.99. Check this out. This is very different. What exactly is he doing? He looks like a robot. It's ten dollars. Oh, he's got a chip. A couple of chips. He's different. Okay, I just turned the camera off for a second to try to look up this guy. Can't find him online, but I didn't do a really thorough research. This one I found on Amazon, I think selling for about 40 or 50 bucks. Um, and I think I saw a listing also, but I haven't seen any sold. Let's see what we got up here. There's some fish back there. This is kind of nice. Resin. There's this little fishy here. Hand painted, chipped. There's another one with his friend. Or a bigger one. All right, what do we have down here? Um, kind of interesting things. I don't buy these anymore. They used to sell, but I don't think they're selling for me right now. So we might leave this one. This one has a chip anyway, and they want they want fifteen dollars for it. Which is a lot of money for that, so we'll just leave it. All right, this is probably Amy Lacombe or maybe fake Amy Lacombe. Might be fake Amy Lacombe. Three dollars for it. This is a coronavirus molecule for three dollars if anyone's interested and you want to be reminded of being locked down and uh, getting sick. <laughs> This is cute. I gotta stop with the figurines though. Oh, does this actually light up? This is a mold. Oh, I wonder if he lights up. He's missing a whole bunch of lights if he is. We'll leave that. I do see a mid-century modern painted cat here. It's pretty badly chipped. Never mind. It's like the look of mid-century. I don't know if it actually is mid-century. What the heck am I grabbing over here? That's another Jim Shore. This one's $5. Let's look that one up. All right, well, it looks like he's selling for like $40 to $50. I didn't see any sold though. So he's in pretty good condition. I don't know if he's newer. It's only $5, so we'll get him. We will get him. And what else do we got here? Oh. 
love little project pieces like that. Oh, this one's nice. $1.99. This is cool. I don't know if it's resin. Here's some John Perry for $3.99. Um, like the resin sharks or dolphins are very stained. I don't really know how to clean that. I guess I, guess I could. I just don't feel like buying that because I have a lot of John Perry stuff. Are these mini? Oh, I thought they were mini coasters. Avon magnets. This is really cool. Wow. It's like a cool drip glaze trinket dish that's shaped like an elephant for 99 cents. That's really pretty. Grab that. These ducks are really interesting too. Wood duck by Andrea by Sadek. Her, her stuff does not sell well for me at all. I'm not sure why. Does this sell well for you guys? Oh look, there's like a whole Jim Shore collection up in here today. Wow, this is Heart Creek Jim Shore. Santa Claus, he's $5.99. We're gonna go ahead and grab him if he doesn't have any damage. Um, I don't think he has any damage. Wait a minute. No? Let's grab him. He's a large piece too. Those are good. The larger pieces sell better. Here's another Jim Shore piece. I didn't see a cat back there. This one's cool. This one's damaged. There's something that, that was in his hand. It's too bad because that looks like it would have been really cool. But they wanted 20 bucks for that anyway. What's this back here? Jim Shore or something. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is what was in his hand. You'd have to repair that if you wanted it. Aw. Put it here so it doesn't break further if someone picks it up and it drops. Um, oh, look at these little things. Gobel. Three dollars. Okay, this is what I'm seeing back here. I want twenty dollars for this one. How is that even possible? <laughs> is it worth it? Let's check it out. All right. So as much as I want it, see how much it's being sold for. Twenty, thirty dollars. So a twenty dollars for this is um, it's not a good pickup. So I'll leave it. The other ones are decent. Thing is a Tiffany. Yeah, but see, it's etched. Um, first plus NFL alumni. And I know people that will pick that up anyway. They collect like the Tiffany pictures that have etchings on them at the thrift store. I forget my my friend's name. I'm sorry, forgive me, it's just it's been a long time since I've seen her. If you're watching the video, um, the person that picks up all the Tiffany, no matter what's etched on it. <laughs> this might be Italian. No, oh, Tintaga Pottery Cornwall. Wow, I wish there was a topper on that because that's really pretty. It's really nice. World Market. Do, 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 do. Um, I don't see anything here that I like. Oh, wow. Look. That's kind of like a mid-century modern look. It's probably modern. But it's the look that I like for $3.99. I'm thinking, I'm looking for something similar. If I spray paint the balls brown be able to create something and just fix the fix this part yeah i gonna grab that for myself i'm always looking for clocks kind of mid-century looking even though that's not that's definitely newer this one might be no this feels newer too made in china it feels new and then there's that's something with more balls on it the sunbeam cloud nola does anyone know that brand oh there's cloud nola i don't know it i want to see this mirror with the paisley rope thingy going on oh i don't know if i like the orange uh, nah i'm not a fan it's kind of neat lawn 
What do we know about Low Angren? I don't know this brand, but it's it's really banged up. Hmm. I don't know anything about clocks. <laughs> I only know like old ones, like what to look out for. Alright, this is like a Lucite tray. This one's nice, but not for $10. Not for $10. What about this? Is this pretty old? No. Made in India. Made to look old. A little mirror. Oh, it's so messed up. Aw. Look at the art pieces here. <laughs> this is what I look like when I'm woken up suddenly. Oh, don't scare me like that. <laughs> So funny the things we find at thrift stores. Let's see. Anything here? Ah. What about here? Anything here? That's pretty. Hmm. This is kind of cool. Mexican art, and I do think it's actually painted. It says 1993, made in Mexico. Counterpoint. Which they want for it. Doesn't have a price on it. Hmm. It's cool art. Hopefully somebody picks that up. They don't sell things without prices here. Oh, I found some little fire and light dishes. That's exciting. Definitely fire and light. Pretty sure. Spot these anywhere. $1.99. That's neat. It's got the lavender, the celery color, and the aqua. There's a color chart on uh, wine. If you just Google fire and light color chart, you will find it. This is Prince's house, and I have these already. They do glow. They just had me a minute. But, um,. They're not as valuable as I would want them to, to be. Let's look down here. Okay. Oh, the love of my life besides Adam. Oh, sweet Elvis. Oh. Guess I'm looking for some more fire and light. <laughs> what about down here? Anything down here? This Crocs cool. Oh, I have Crocs. This, what is this one? Made in Nicaragua. It's pretty pottery for $8 though. I don't know. It's a lot. Let's see. Oh, wow, that's interesting. $14.99. This jar, the jar, it's a jar. This is the top part. All right, let's see what that's worth. All right, it's actually a soup terrain, which I think is so cute. I would have bought it if it was less than that. Um, they're just selling for like 30. So we're gonna leave that alone. Oh, this is a nice egg dish made in Japan. Very mid-century. Love this cool thing here. It's a pretty print. Someone made that in 1960. All right, guys. So I'm at the Red, White, and Blue store in Hollywood, Florida now. Yeah, those fire and light little plates were a great pickup, and I think the Jim Shore. We're gonna do well doing that. Um, putting that up on eat on Etsy. All right, let's see. White, yellow, 75 off. Blue, green, 50. Ooh. Like white, yellow, blue, green. It's like all of it. Hi, how are you? Good. My first find is this Murano gondola. And I think I can get about $30 to $40 for this. It is $10, but I like it. I don't really want to leave that on the shelf. It's a little pricey, but we're going to get it. Let's look up here. These are nice, but modern. $2.99 each. Mm, leave it. 
This is a cool piece. That's got to be Scandinavian or something. <laughs> I'm looking for the signature. I don't see any. Mm, uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll be hard to sell that. I'll leave it. These, uh, this one has a, something there. So $3, not, not bad, not bad. And there's this one. The jellyfish ones do sell pretty well. They want $6 for it, but I could probably get about $20 for it. So we'll get those. And this one's really nice for $3, but why is it only three? Uh, uh, there's a little chippy poo there, but we can tolerate that. And then this one, we'll oh, grab that too. Oh, I love these ceramic sheep. <laughs> There's two of them. <sighs> I just think they want too much for them. I think they wanted $10, so let's leave that. $10 a piece. Mm. This chalice is nice. Studio pottery. Single chalice would be hard to sell though. Okay. These look like there is actually something in it, like sparkles or perfume. I don't know what this is about. There's a whole bunch of them, so I'm gonna leave them there. I don't know if there's something actually in the petals. It was kind of oily when I touched it. Maybe it's like bath gel or something. <laughs> this. Okay. Well, that's cool. Finding Nemo. I think they want too much for that. So we'll leave it. Wow, these prices are skyrocketing at every thrift store, aren't they? I don't mean to complain all the time. I know it's annoying, but they really are. Um, cool. I am collecting glass whales, so <laughs> I'm going to grab that for just a few dollars. What else do they have going on today? This is kind of exciting. Bunch of new stuff. I gotta stop looking at all the cherubs. I like them, but they don't really sell them well. No, she's cool for three bucks, but we'll pass on her. I just feel like, that. yeah, no, I'm just picking up everything at this point. The seahorse is really cool, but eight dollars. No, maybe if it was about three dollars, I, I definitely would pick him up. I love sea creatures. Hmm. I am going to go ahead and grab this ornament. Disney ornaments do sell well. And this is seed pottery. Uh, there's seeds on it. They're almost like Rinconada. Um, and they would sell pretty well, but they want too much. There's two of them. I really like the painted face. about over these shelves Ooh, how pretty oh I bet you they want a lot wow so realistic um sandy cast so neat uh, I don't really I don't see a price on it but I'm sure they're gonna want a lot for that and no price they don't sell it Do, do, do. Now we're on the next section, past the purses. Let's see what we see here. Um, lots of Mikasa pieces today. Lots and lots of Mikasa. Well, that's a very regal looking chicken. <laughs> Probably made in China. He's neat though. Oh gosh, they want like 40 bucks for him. <laughs> no thanks, pass. As they see on whatnot, pass. <laughs> oh, that's cool I don't think we're going to be picking up too much here today with these uh, the cost of the items here would be really hard to profit so um, I'm not liking much though too much today that is not a glassy baby that was not a glassy baby oh those are little regular things candle holders oh that's neat that peacock's neat he's very modern 
but it's just really cool looking. Oh yeah, these are, uh, these, these would probably sell around Halloween for about 10, 10 bucks. And is this a Witch Please by Ray Dunn? $4 for the mug. Uh, not ready to sell Halloween just yet. And let's keep going on this aisle here. Pikachu, but the banks are very hard to sell. The last time I sold a bank was for 40 bucks and it was the Incredible Hulk. That was a special edition. Checking to make sure this is not, yeah, that's not Tiffany. Not a Tiffany's. They look like that though. A little taller. Cool. Those are Romer glasses, I think. These smoky glasses are real nice. That would be just for me. Um, they want $12.99 for the entire set. I think there's only like four or five. These are nice too. $5.99 per glass though. Okie dokie. Let's look down here for any spectacular bowls. this wooden stems oh those are cool i like this dish um it's kind of neat pressed glass pressed pattern ruffled does not glow i did whip out my um my uv light i did not show that in the camera just to check if it glows. I know some of you are like, why do you keep saying if things glow or not? I, believe it or not, there is a market for people who like glowy items. There's They they like it. <laughs> so I mention it <laughs> for them. I myself am a sucker for glowy glass. I just like it. Cadmium though, surprisingly. This is neat, but there's only one. I think if there was a set, I'd pick it up. Looks like we're going to be done here pretty soon because we're already on the other side. I want to get to the wood area. I like all the wooden goods. Oh, just comes right off. Yeah, kind of cool. Salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, this is kind of modern, made in China. They're cute, though. You know, for, like, coastal home decor, that would be great to pick up for decorating someone's house. Look at this wooden teapot. I wonder if I saw it last time. Mm, there's a little bit of flea bites on those. Wood's not in great shape. Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay. A square teapot. <laughs> or, oh, okay, you put the tea bags in there. <laughs> Probably missing a lid. Um, nothing too exciting. I do like hourglasses at this one. Oh, yeah, this one moves around too much. It's missing the little screw on the other end, I guess. I don't know, but moving around a lot. I'm going to put that down this is neat again the wood is not in great condition on this one too but it's a monkey pod I believe that is quite popular monkey pod wood in Hawaii probably a 70s piece this is cool art with I think it's coconut shell art um, it's missing a couple of leaves here so, but I, I do, I do like, them. I like it. What is that? Oh, that's all wood. Oh, how pretty. Yeah. Gorgeous. Mm, five bucks. Some chips and breaks over there, but... 
Yeah, it's pretty bad right there, so we'll have to leave it. What is that? Is that treasure craft? No. Oh, this is resin. This whole thing is resin. It actually feels cheap, but it looks pretty cool. Um, Some scenes around it. Look at this acrylic frame. Oh, it's not Bakelite or it's not Lucite. It's it's a feels very cheap. <laughs> we'll leave that and then let's look through the frames. Oh, we're almost at the end, y'all. Is this Kate Spade? No. Although I don't pick up Kate Spade frames anymore. Um. Looking for MCM clocks for myself. Okay, forgive me, y'all. I put all of those paperweights back. They all had a problem. And everything was super overpriced. I was unhappy. But I'm going to go to American Thrift next door and we'll see if we get lucky there. I'm hoping at least just a couple of really cool stuff just for us. So let's get over there and see what they've got. Okay, here we are, American Thrift Store. Really close to that red, white, and blue in Hollywood. This is American Thrift in Hollywood, obviously. There's two furniture sections adjacent to the, like side by side to the main American Thrift. And I don't like to check it out because sometimes you can find cruels in here. That's really beautiful. Look at that basket. Is that paint? Oh God, no. That's a cruel. Let's see if we can grab it for less than $69. Let's see. That's amazing. So I ended up getting this one for 30% off. They were so nice. $69.99. So it'll be like around $40. That's really beautiful. Okay, and I'm over here. I was looking at this painting, but it was it's 400, so I'll we'll leave it alone. Let's see here. This one has like mid-century bottom. I wonder if, yeah. Oh, I thought the bottom, you know, maybe it was replaced. But that looks kind of new. Anyway. Oh, this is really cool too. They want 149 for it. It's probably worth that. It's a loose site. It's a, like a vintage cart. Very cool, 149. Hmm. A lot of scuff marks. This kind of has like a mid-century look, right? This is nice with the brass. $29. If I had room, I would definitely flip furniture too. Sometimes I do little tables like this and I bring them to the markets. But um, I think we're gonna go ahead and grab that cruel and then we'll go next door. All right, so I paid $49 for this. This baby, wow. Anna Vargo, 19. 89 I believe that's what says this baby's going up on cherish if you go to American thrift a lot It's really worth joining the club. I think it's um I paid the 119 a year But it's 12.99 a month But you get like third you get a bunch of stuff 25% off extra reward points Additional 10% off jewelry and yellow tags. It is worth it if you come often. So Here we are. Woo. There's a lot of people Let's grab a cart. Are you using this? No? I'll, I'll grab this one. This is very interesting. Pottery with the glaze, crackle glaze in the center. It's not signed or anything. I'll pick that up. And this is a tool leather wallet. I'm really digging it for myself. Even though the price tag is $24, I will grab that for myself. I like tool leather quite a bit. So pretty. Yeah, looks fine to me. This is the Johanna Parker pitcher. I do have the creamer and sugar bowl set. They want $2.99 for it, but there is a chip here. Otherwise, I would pick them up to go with my set. This is a nice little plate. Teacher. I am a teacher and I'm going to pick this up for me and just throw my pencils in them. $1.99. I think it might be $2.99. There's two different prices on there. Okay. 
browsing, browsing, browsing. Oh, these are cute. I love collecting those little turtle shells, shell turtles, but this one looks weird. Maybe he's broken. Maybe it's broken. I'm going to put that back. It is this. Made in Italy. Oh, that's nice. Firenze means Florence. These are cool. Oh, I want them, but I think he's missing his hat on the left there. That guy on the left. They're like painters? This is just too, too weird. I'm not a slow cook. I'm not a fast cook. I'm a half fast cook. <laughs> Lots of things here today. Just randomly laid out for our picking up pleasure. That's a hookah smoking device. Oh, look at this. Uh, yeah, I don't want to pay 14 though. Random glass flower. Avon. These are cool uh, verdigree Israeli bookends, but not for $14.99. I forget who makes this. Oh, there's a big chip on there, on that glass. Oh. Paperweight owl. I mean, he could go in my Misfit collection, but <laughs> he's large. Usually I pick up smaller things for my Misfit collection. This is nice. It's pretty new, but look, they want $30, you guys. That's really new, though, I think. But, I mean, it's plastic resin. feels cheapy. Maybe they pulled out the good old Google lens. <laughs> I think that's sand art. I think I just got a splinter there. Indian boy. Natural earth material. That's cool. Little metal box. Pets. I've seen these. They don't resell for much. Yeah, definitely not $12.99. I'm not going to pick that up. Mm-mm. No, Suri Bob. Will we be able to pick anything other than that cruel up? Um, if, hey, if that's all I picked up here at American Thrift, I am happy. Oh, oh he's kind of cool. He's a very old coin bank. Uh, 99 cents. I'll go ahead and pick him up. Um, some people like coin banks on whatnot, so we'll put that on there. It's a fabric trivet. Check this out. Hmm. Large cracks. And then probably missing a, a, a lid. Let's reach around here and grab this awesome thing. Hmm, six ninety nine. Chip up there. I just don't want to pick up things with obvious chips unless they're valuable. Look at this. This dragon. He's resin. This is a glass bottle. I like these stoneware pots. But I think they want a lot of money for it. Twelve ninety nine per pot, not even for the set. So I, I would, I think I would have picked it up. The one on the left and all the way on the right. This is signed. I don't know what it is though. These little dishes are kind of cool, but I do have many of them. They want seven dollars for it, so pass. Um, I know I'm gonna find some kind of treasure, it's Frankenstein. Polish pottery frame. I'm going to pick this up for $1.99. They haven't caught on to the popularity of Polish pop pottery yet, but it's just a matter of time. Mm. Mm, look 
kind of like the, I like the colors on it. This type of Clessonet style brass, um, the, those kind of things don't really sell well. The enamel just wears off. Salt and pepper shakers. Um, that's cool. It's a switch plate. That look like blue sky. Look at this one. This is nice. Let's see, it's eight dollars, and that would just be nice to decorate with. Put on a stack of books, like I always say. I'm just looking around here. You gotta really dig. Things get broken here quite a bit because they just pile things on. Oh, I like these little shelf sitters. They are cute. Yeah, they're anthropomorphic. I will pick those up. $2.99. Yeah, and also because they're high price, so things are just staying on the shelf for a long time. And the longer they stay on the shelf, they will get, um, oh, that's a little canoe, pottery canoe. They will get broken, so I don't know who makes that. That feels like high quality, this little shot glass thingy. Oh, we could always use little trinket dishes. I think this is Raku. Oh, might be Raku. I don't know. Feels like it, looks like it. <laughs> I don't know. We'll get it. This would be cool. To pick up if it wasn't damaged. There's quite a bit of damage. They want $8 for it. It's broken there. No, too bad. This too is cool. This might be Costa Rica pottery. I'm not sure. But it is signed. Um, $8 for it. I will just grab it because I like it. Oh, wait. There's a little chip there, so no, we cannot grab it. Just another resin piece. I mean, I like them, but I, I'm thinking in terms as a reseller, so. This is like ceramic sack. These are ceramic. Um, kitchenware thingies $14.99 though mm. y'all can keep it little trinket dish salt glaze trinket dish for 99 cents that's a good pickup pick that up <laughs> it's a little's day oh I think these are Probably the boat for those porcelain salt and pepper shakers we found a minute ago. Yeah, these. Maybe. It's a nice green glaze. Makes me feel thirsty when I look at it. I'm not sure why. <laughs> it's making me want water. Odd. Little cased glass. Cheapy. I would pick up this glass hummingbird, but he's got broken petals, and um, three ninety nine was a good one. I could have picked him up though for my misfit, but I didn't. I feel bad now. That's cool pottery. Not attractive. Oh, this Tanala vase is cool. They only want two ninety nine for, it, and I would pick it up if they didn't write directly on the bisque, and also if. I didn't have a bunch of them, so we'll have to leave that for someone else. Oh, these are uh, Kenyan soap, soapstone. Uh, they don't, soapstone doesn't sell well, the Kenyan ones, but I like them. Aren't they cool? Oh, and they want 15 bucks for them. Candle holder here, thought it was Fitz and Floyd. Not that I would have picked it up. I definitely, sorry y'all, if you like Annalie dolls, I definitely don't pick up Annalie dolls ever uh, anymore. I have some, but they really creep me out. Like just as bad as clowns. These are cool. These are um, earring holders and 
I guess I'll put them in here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to pick them up because a couple of them are kind of stained. This folk art frog shelf sitter is kind of cool. I'm just going to grab them. <laughs> and then there's this paperweight for 99 cents, but it's all, it's really broken. It's a tree and you know how I collect trees, but some parts are very sharp here. So we'll have to leave them. So I get it. They mark down the things that are broken. <laughs> they have low price on things that are broken. Okay. Let's look at this. This is so cool. Look at that wreath. I'm just not picking up wreaths right now, though. And this, this Mexican glass um, candle holders... Are neat. I really, really like the. Oh, it's broken there. Uh oh. I really like the colors. Another refreshing blue color. Oh, brass plates. So they are $12.99, but I think they'll do well. I'll pro I could probably get about $50 to $60 for brass plates. They can be used as chargers too, but. Oh, and I think I can use these for my own decor. Yeah, I like those. This is a holder. Holds something. It holds something. I don't know. Too bad that this metal turtle box is uh, damaged. I would have picked him up. We are gonna go next door to the Miramar Bakery. That's what it's called. And get something for my dad's birthday. I already got him sugar-free ice cream, sugar-free apple pie, but there's other guests who are not sugar-free. So let's see what they've got. At the Miramar Bakery, they do have really good orange juice, fresh squeezed. Oh boy. Well, my brother-in-law is not eating sweets anymore. My sister is allergic to everything like me. I'm allergic to everything. <laughs> my dad is diabetic, and my neighbor who's coming, my, my old neighbor, my uncle, my Jewish uncle, I call him, Phil is coming over, and he can't have any sugar. So I have decided not to get anything, but I'm glad I got to show you guys that Cuban bakery. It's adorable, and it's yummy. But I got some fresh squeezed orange juice. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the best find of the day is the cruel. Not every day is going to be amazing when you go thrifting, but the cruel really did kind of make me happy. So resell value for that would probably be about three hundred dollars, three to four to five hundred. I'll put it up on Cherish. We'll see what we get for it. Until next time, y'all. Thank you. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the algorithm, and so that I can keep making these videos for you. We'll talk soon. Catch you on the flip side.